Yeah. All right, it's a happy Wednesday, Wednesday from the Gopher's Corner Speakeasy. We got Gopher in the house along with it's uh, what is just marked down there. We got Double B back. How we doing, guys? Fantastic. All right, get some, get it on. Yeah. So, um, actually, Brian, I uh, this was your bottle that you picked up that we're trying tonight. So, why don't you tell us about? It? Oh, yeah, about it. Right. A little bit is that apparently it's been around for many, many years, <laughs> uh, from what I understand. Um, it's usually aged about seven to nine years, from what I hear. Mm -hmm. um, it's a hundred proof. Okay. Um, it's is it bottle, is it bottle, 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 bottle? Not no more. Right? Is it bottle and bottle? No. It is not. not that I'm aware. It's, uh, it's four roses, which I don't think you even said. Single that. barrel. Single barrel. It is 100 proof, but not bottled in bond. Uh, so this is uh, made in Kentucky. And uh, Gopher and I have driven by this place about 10 times and never never bothered to, to check it out. Well, we both know what. We're not going to say anymore. So uh, it uh, features notes of rice, spice, apricot, pear, cinnamon, toasted oak, so it says. And um, the... We don't have a age statement, but Brian said, you know, about seven to nine years. Trivia question for you now. What famous movie character loved this four rows of Paulie. There we go. Paulie. Oh, my God. You're right. Paulie. Right around. He always had four rows of That's right. All the way back to his buddy. Yeah. So if you watch the original Rocky movie, you will see Paulie. Uh, a little pint. A little pint of four roses with him. And then uh, in the later ones, I forget which one it is. It might have been uh, like, with the robot. The only Rock, robot. No, no, no. Like Rocky Six or or even the first Apollo movie. I forget which one. But Paulie's in it again, and he's got his four roses. Paulie actually dies in the movie. So four roses. So it's, it's, it's Paulie's uh, favorite, and um, it's a well favorite of a lot of people. I, I know it's a huge favorite in the South Jersey bourbon drinkers group. Uh, they love those single barrels. Let's drink some of this. How, how, how do we think? All right. So, Brian, you, you try to pull this. It was uh, a few weeks ago. I'll be honest with you. It was late at night. I already had a few. So okay. Those are usually the best time. You know? it's, it's always it's, good. It tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mark, I know you got three in the drink. So, I have my, my four roads in this glass here, which I believe I got at that. Uh, at that Four Roses tasting that we had in oh, South Jersey Bourbon. If not, I picked it up a little way Sunday. I don't have anything to anything to say about this. I've only ever had the one little over at James's house that yeah. time. Never had four roses. Uh, one day we want to say yeah. tell you the single barrel, the 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 uh, barrel proofs are very high, um, and they usually go for about. Seventy-five, eighty dollars. Uh, but this one, Brian, what is this one? Forty-five. Forty-five. So that's a reasonably be priced bottle, hundred proof. I don't know. That tastes pretty good. What do you guys think? I like this glass. But just, I don't know. I don't know it's kind of scary. But it's like a good orange really glass good. and a good. Uh, I should talk to you better. I don't know. I yeah. kind of enjoy it. I get like an orange, uh, orange zest at the end. Orange zest. A little heat though. There's some heat though. Oh, not great, right. just a little. Like, a little you know, I didn't feel the heat at first, now I feel it after I swallow. Yeah, it's like a little tough with you. That's all. What do you say, Mark? Um, I like the nose. I'm getting like the little fruity, like apricot or something on the nose. Yeah, it suggested that would have been a tasting note. Yeah, all right. Get okay. that on the nose. So this is actually not too bad. Hey, it always gives you a little. Uh, I think this thing your tongue again. And it's giving me a pick this on touch, and I love that. Yeah, he has uh. Like it's not gonna go away. It's stuff in your tongue until you go wake up in the morning. Well, something to remember you must. Yeah, you know, I can buy a little bit of that orange peel uh, on the nose. Um, yeah, it's got a nice consistency to it. I do, I do like the mouthfeel, and um, up front, it's. I mean, the one thing about it, it doesn't really change. It's it's so it's pretty much consistent front to back. But I do like it, um, uh, just sort of the simplicity of it. 
um, um, and the, the flavor profile. So I'm getting, Mark, you mentioned the apricot. I think that that's valid. Uh, the finish we've been talking about, it doesn't seem like much, but then ooh, about 10 seconds later, here it comes. And uh, it, it does bring the heat. Yeah, it's not even in throat, throat, though. It's not even chest. It's about right here. Yeah, yeah, about right here. But I, I mean, I don't mind that. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's not it's not burning at all. It's just you know, you, you thought you got away with something, you know, when you finish the glass and you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. It's like, ooh, <laughs> okay. I didn't I didn't quite get away with it as much as I thought I I did. But I don't know. I I, I, I think it's a tasty, I like tasty it. little pork. All right. Well, we'll we'll do a little uh we'll do a little reading on this if you guys don't mind. I tell you what, I'm enjoying it. So let's start. Go ahead, Marcus. You want me to start? Yeah, just Mark, you on first. All right. All right. Um, really like this. The nose, the apricot, the uh, and the. The simplicity of it is really kind of nice because it's um uh, you do get the flavors. It's not like it, it stays consistent, like you said, being um right through. It is what it is. There's no chameleon changing or anything. Mm -hmm. For the price point and all, I like this. I'm gonna go like a seven and a half. Yeah, hi, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean for the price point and what you're getting, mm -hmm. I really enjoy this. Very fair. All right. Seven and a half. Good school. Good in there, Dolby. Um, I guess it's set seven and nine years, they say. It's fairly dark. Uh, so it's been around for a few. It's not uh, something that's young, so it's been around a while. I smell the uh, fruitiness. It's primarily what I smell, but on the back, it talks about all these spices and toasted oak and stuff. And, yeah. I guess a little bit of the oak I smell, but it's more of just fruit more than anything. Um, and price point, 45 for a single barrel. Seems pretty cool to me. Any price point? Fantastic. I give it a good number on a fair no, price point. So let me do this again. Give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, from the tongue, I get something here. And I don't get nothing right here. It's like something there. I'm going to go with a 6.2. It's, it's a lot to like here. Um, price point right off the bat, yeah, it's very fair. Uh, it's got a nice caramel color to it. I talked about that sort of a creamsicle. And, and I get that on the nose of this, where I get the, the orange and maybe a little vanilla uh, right on the nose. So that's, what, that's what I mean by the, the creamsicle. When, when you taste it, it's not quite the same. He got me a little, a little bit on that sip. <laughs> so it is there. But um, I there's more. The, the fruits, when you taste it, change. Uh, not so much the orange. I mean, it's probably there, but it's playing a secondary role to to the apricot. It's just pear. And cinnamon. It's very similar families. Cinnamon, you're going to get a little bit on the back end, but, but not a lot. Um, but some, some more of those fruits, the, the apricot pear fruit, uh, when you actually taste it, and it's got a nice consistent rollback. The end, there is just a faint little bit of cinnamon and rye spice, and the heat that comes at the end, uh, really afterwards, almost like a postscript, you know. P.S. There's a burn in your throat. Uh, Wait, I ain't done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but but overall, a nice experience. I think that uh, put a number on this. Um, yeah, I think I think um, I think seven five is fair. Uh, I'm going to go with seven five as well. I yeah. think I think the ultimate compliment for any of these bottles really is, it, am I going to buy it again? And for this one, I'm, I'm happy that I already have a backup here. Uh, so I don't have to buy another one, but I would definitely buy this bottle. Yeah, again. I would buy it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Especially price point and uh, what I get out of it flavor-wise. Uh, yeah, I can see it keeping on my dump. Right. All right, so we'll do a cheers to uh, to Paulie. 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 Paulie.
four rounds of whiskey. And um, take a shot. Uh, Go you a chance, uh, have, have a sip yourself. Uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you next week.